Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Recently, I did a Mastering Lightroom Classic CC video where I demonstrated how to convert an image into black and white. Shortly before that, I did a Mastering on One Photo Raw 2018 video demonstrating the same thing. After that Lightroom video posted, a viewer of mine, TC, posted a question that I receive quite often. And that is, when do you know an image would look better as a black and white image as opposed to a color image? Well, I thought I'd do this short video where I give my thoughts on this. First of all, I think there's probably three scenarios when, the, when this is important. And I think the first scenario is the best way and something you should work to try to attain. And that is, attempt to see the scene that you're photographing as a black and white image. A lot of photographers don't even bother trying to do that. It's not super difficult to do, you just have to get used to trying to see the scene as a monochrome image. A lot of street photographers are great at this. Once you suck all the color out of the scene, other factors become important. What you really need to look at is the contrast that's in the scene. How are the brighter parts of the scene interacting with the darker parts of the scene? So you try to look at the scene and you're going to really be looking at the tonal values of the scene and what, you know, what it may look like as a black and white image. Remember, no one's going to be reacting to color. Whereas, you know, you could look at a nice warm scene with color and it makes someone feel warm and fuzzy. Or they look at this cool scene and it looks brittle and cold. And it, you elicit these feelings out of people with color. You can't do that, obviously, with the black and white image. So you have to look at the light. And really, you'll become a better photographer overall because it will help train your eye to see light better. And how the light interplays across... Um, a surface, things like that. So practice that. That's the best way. Other than that, often in post-production, we're trying to decide whether an image is better as a black and white image or a color image. I think there's two scenarios in post-production where this could happen. First, we have an image and we start processing it in color. So I have this and I did some basic panel processing I added some contrast with the tone curve. I didn't do anything at all with the HSL color in this case. I think really the only other thing I did, I added some sharpening and lens correction. And I got this far and it really isn't working. Well, what would it look like black and white? Well, the quickest and easiest way is to just hit the V key on your keyboard. V is for Victor. And just click it and you'll see the image in black and white. And then you could toggle between the two. So hit V again and we're in color. So you could toggle back and forth and see where it might work better. And in this case, I think the black and white image is slightly more compelling. And maybe I have more to work with here, meaning that sky is pretty bright. But I know that I could go to the B&W tab when I'm in the black and white um, a monochrome image and go to the black and white mix and pull blue down. And I can make the sky more dramatic. And I know I could add some more interest into the grass by pushing yellow up a little bit and pushing green down a little bit. So right away, I think it looks a lot better than it ever possibly could have looked color. Still not that great of an image, to tell you the truth, but I thought it was a good example for this video. So pretty cool, though. So that's one way. One thing I want to warn you, if you do this and you start doing some black and white mix adjustments like I just did, if you hit the V key again and toggle back to color, and then you hit the V key again, and you'll first of all, you'll notice that those mix, black and white mix, have no effect on the hue, saturation, or luminance sliders. When I hit the V key again and go back to the black and white, you'll see that it reset this whole panel. So you'd have to come in here and readjust these sliders. So just be aware of that. Now that's one scenario. So you started to process it in color and it just isn't working. Try it black and white. The other scenario is you have an image and you didn't process it all. I didn't do anything to this except lens corrections. Oh, I didn't even do those. Let's do those. All right, so I didn't do anything except lens corrections. Create a virtual copy. 
right click on the image and then go on down to create virtual copy. Now we have two copies of the same exact image. Process one in color. So we'll come in, I'm just gonna go really super quick. All right, so we're gonna, uh, whoa, we had a ton of clarity. Uh, all right, so we have one, let's say that I'm done. All right, so I processed one in color. Now let's process this one in black and white. So right away I'll open up basic tab, click on black and white, and I'll do some processing here. And then you could determine, you'll have them both side by side, and you could determine which one you might like better. And you come here, we'll go my same deal, I'll bring that, I'll put that up, that down. All right, let's say we're done. So I have the black and white version is the virtual copy. It doesn't matter whether you make the original image the black and white version and the virtual copy the color version, it doesn't matter. Just have one of each. And there's the color version. I think this image, even though it's still not very good, I think it works better as a black and white image. So that's another way you could determine in post-production whether or not an image or a scene looks better as a black and white image or a color image. And I hope that helps you better determine your scenario or your images, which one would work better as a black and white image. Personally, I still would like you um, to try to see the world in monochrome. It, it's going to take just a little practice. It's not as hard as it may sound. Really just kind of key in on the light and look at contrast and look at how the uh, brightest part of the scene interplays with the darkest part of the scene and vice versa. And you'll realize whether or not that scene works better as a black and white image. And once you could see the scene like that in your mind's eye, you could better compose. For example, let's say that the clouds are such a way that you're visualizing it to be very dramatic as a black and white image. Well, you could compose the scene so the sky takes up more of the picture. So I would tilt my camera up, obviously, and try to get more of the sky. On the other hand, something else in the scene might look better or be very compelling in black and white. So you could compose the scene so that is more uh, dominant in the picture. So you could better compose once you could see in your mind's eye what the scene looks like in black and white. So uh, practice that. Just go out and try to see light. And actually, you'll become a better photographer once you could better see light and understand how the light uh, works on different surfaces, different objects, and things like that. That's it for this video. I hope that helps. Thank you, everyone who watches my video videos. Thank you to TC and all the others throughout the last couple of years that have asked me this question. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.